previously. And so we go. Hello friends, my name is Internet and welcome back to Corpse Party. Let me actually adjust my camera because I'm sitting further back from my computer today. I just felt like kind of relaxing a little bit instead of sitting up like I always do. So yeah, we're going to do that. I forgot that I could use my WSAD. Oh, hey, hello mouse. I forgot that I could use WSAD for movement, so that's going to change a lot of things. All right. Oh, God, I forgot about this. So let's go push the lever. Um, I know I don't want to lose my crystal if I can help it. God damn it. Go away, child. So, yeah, let's just get back into it. Oh, um, I forgot to say, hello, friends, my name's Lorna, and welcome back to Corpse Party. Because, you know, I'm a dork like that. But that's okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Pull the lever, and now the little brat's going to be over here. Can't walk there, so ha going here is the only way I can get past him. So he's over there. So if I go here, oh shit! I got myself stuck. Damn it! Yes. I want to save that crystal. I don't want to fucking lose it because I can't figure out how to get past this brat. So, let's continue where I just saved. Which one did I just save on? I don't remember. Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. So, let's do it again. Alright, luckily my down button isn't just stuck anymore. So, that's nice. Cat, I, I might have to take you out of my lap. I You're kind of in a bad spot. So, hello, child. Excuse me, child. You're following me. That's fine, I guess. I don't really have much of a choice, do I? Movement commands are so awkward. I can't go diagonal. I mean, I know that it's an RPG maker. It makes sense. But god damn it, I want to go diagonal. Why can't I walk there? It would make my life so much easier. All right. Stop it. I don't care. Alright. Come here, little kid. Ah, god damn it. I need to run I need to run the other way. I see what I need to do now. Ugh Okay. Kitten, please. I love you. You're driving me crazy. I know you're not doing anything, but I can't. I can't sit like that anymore. I'm sorry. Lay back down. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. Continue. <sighs> Come on. I don't want to have to skip everything every time I go in here. <sighs> On the bright side, my camera seems to be doing well. And my skin is all healthy and stuff, so I don't look like I just... Like, fucking, uh, I'm not a walking corpse. So that's nice. Do, 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 do. Let's do this for the fifth time. Or is it the fourth? I don't remember. Can I run if I hold shift? No, of course not. This game doesn't do that. Da, ba, da. Yes, pull the lever. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Okay. Come here, child. Come, come hither. Ha ha! I did it. Fuck yeah! Look at me. I'm a boss. He's so slow. What's up with that? Does he chase me faster when I leave the room? No, same speed. Oh well. Still terrifying. Hey, Yumi. You okay? Okay. I thought I was. I thought she was freaking out again. What's this? A cursed writings left behind by those who lost all reason must be read in the proper order. If one part is skipped, the next part will never appear. If you insist on reading such dangerous words, too, I pray you have strong will and a sturdy mind. 
I need to save whenever I get the chance. There's just a chair chilling over here. That's terrifying. Maybe I'll put another candle down here. No? No candle? Fuck. Okay. Second floor is tall. What's wrong? You need to stop for a minute? No, I just thought this seemed like a good spot for another candle. No objections, I assume. Go ahead. Cool. That's a great place for a candle. Thank you. I'm going to save up here. What's in this room? Hey. I remember this room. It's an open journal and a framed picture on the desk. The journal seems almost decorative as if it were a plastic model built into the desk. No part of it can be moved in even the slightest bit. Okay. The handle turns at the loud squeak, but not a drop of water comes out. Vast quantities of medicine and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves. How to remove a tongue. Two. What? Can be a real challenge to keep straight just with... Keep straight just which warm severed tongue belongs to which patient. As such, it is highly recommended that the tongues be tagged or marked once detached. Their owners will be in no state to identify them after all. Best to work quickly, too, before things get hectic. The patient's bare tongue stumps will suffer postpartum swelling, resulting in slow suffocation. You may wish to put the patients down once the inevitable squirming begins. It's kinder that way and will free you to tag your trophies in peace. What the fuck? pair of scissors on one of the shelves, both... Blades covered liberally in blood. Vast quantities of medicines and tonic are lined up on each of the shelves. Okay. I'm a just. Yeah. I should have saved over the other one. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Hey, wait a minute. There's um stuff missing here. Science lab. The door seems almost like a model, as if sculpted onto the wall. There's no way of opening it. Well, fine. Um, I could go up or left. Let's go left first. Um, yep, okay. I can only go up. Well, that's lovely. Judging by the size, these appear to be the remains of the junior high or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals an ID name tag. Biak... Byakuden Senior High School, Class 2-4, Risuke Katayama. It looks like most of those, them died in the same dimension, at least. Kazami. Did you hear your voice just now? Yeah, I heard it. I wonder what happened to him. I get the feeling he was surprised. I think he died quickly and suddenly. That's lovely. Hey, the fourth memoir is there. So I can't read the fifth one. Let's read the fourth one. Victim's memoir is 4-5. to five. I am writing these memoirs with... Sticky hands, but it's not me that is sticky, but something else. I hope you're not mad about this. Maybe you'll think I'm a horrible person, but I got hungry again, and I'm really, really about to die, so I did something I shouldn't have done. I promised myself I would stay sane and promised myself I wouldn't do what I did, and I am so, so sorry, really, really, really sorry, really sorry, but there is no excuse for what I did with my bloody hands. I took the thing that I've been squishing, and I put it in my mouth, and I swallowed it. I ate it. Oh. All right, so if I see one more of those, I shouldn't read it. Girls, boys, let's keep our restrooms clean. Okay. Yo, what's up? Feels weird being in the boys' room. Mirror is slightly vibrating against the back wall with each subtle move you make, clattering as it does so. There's Ayumi standing next to him. Hmm? She seems to be staring at the floor and grinning wildly. What is it? Uh, nothing. Maybe I'm just seeing things. This is an interesting smell. I get the distinct impression that somebody's watching me. Probably just my imagination. Ugh. Ah, close the damn door. Shut the goddamn door! Excuse me, sir. Sorry. Hey, did you hear that crazy voice? I didn't hear anything, but we're definitely not alone in here. You should leave this room right now. Okay. Hey, I found his glasses and hat. He should not... It, he shouldn't be upset anymore, right? Like, come on. That's just rude.
Huh? Mm. Hmm. What's this? I don't know. What is it? Seems stained, but with what? Almost looks like a person. Somebody died in here. I can hear her voice. No, no, please. Don't. What's wrong? Ah! Creek. Uh, whoa. A Ayumi. Psycho! Psycho. No! Shinazaki. Damn it, what the hell is going on around here? You good? You alright, Shinazaki? Ugh. Bring me more. You'll do whatever I ask of you. Don't care if you're innocent. You're listed as buried alive, aren't you? They're mine. I'm sure as hell not sharing with the likes of you. Uh, uh, Ayumi? Cleanup is a real pain in the ass, too, you know? Have some pity. Ayumi? Shinazaki? What's up? Uh, fight it. Ugh. Ugh. Ow. The hell, that really hurt. I believe in you. Does anybody listen to me? What the hell are you talking about? I don't understand a single word you're saying. God damn it. Hey, what's up? Poor girl, she lost her mind and she'll never get it back. Possession is a frightful thing. To have your thoughts pushed deep down into the pit of your soul and someone else's take their place. Are you? Can I? Me staring at you as if transfixed with an unnaturally wild smile stretched across her face. Okay, I'm gonna go back in here. I hope you don't mind. There's a dark stain on the floor in the shape of a person's body. It almost feels like there's someone here. It's really giving me the creeps. What, what the hell is this? The stall is pitch black inside. There's... All right. Ayumi, you good now, Shinazaki? <sighs> I feel like I'm losing my mind. Why is this happening to us? Shinuma. Kishinuma. Crap. It's all the smoke I see. Get the hell out of that stall right this instant. He's smoking in the boys' room. Hitting the tobacco again, were we? Uh, well, no, sir. Didn't I warn you what would happen if I caught you smoking again? Expulsion, that's what. Uh, I'm sorry. You're a real problem, child. You know that? Why do you even come to school in the first place? <laughs> Disowned by your parents, living on your own, got no friends, never go to class. Just because you hate school doesn't give you the right to throw fits and raise a ruckus all the time, mister. You're clearly not having any fun here, right? So why don't you just drop out? I really don't get it. It's not like you're trying to get into college. With your home life as it is, you pr the thought probably hasn't even crossed your mind. Uh-huh. Wish I could ask your parents what they think of having a no-good kid like you in the family, but they've never once shown their faces around here. Not since the very first parent-teacher conferences we held. Wonder if they'd be embarrassed. Rude. Huh. My parents aren't exactly proud of me, shall we say. Eh, that's not what I mean. I'm thinking the big picture here. They're clearly just not good parents. If I had kids of my own, you better believe I wouldn't be half as lax with them as yours obviously are with you. The problem is people having kids when they're way too young. Before they become proper adults, they're popping out babies of their own. And bad parents raise bad kids, and that's why there are so many brats like you in this world. Hey, my mom was a really young mom, and I think I turned out just fine. My sister! No, I'm just kidding. She's got problems, but, you know, she's a teenager. So, yeah, otherwise she's a good kid. He's right about one thing. There's clearly no reason for me to stay in this school. It really is pointless. And besides, I wasn't really a good kid anyways. I acted like a good kid, but I wasn't. <sighs> anyways, I should just be the crap out of this jackass and drop out. People think that as long as they pay school taxes or tuition. Oh, 
I think it might be the daddies. What? Well, newsflash, they're not. <laughs> What's with that look? I've never had a teacher before. Oh, well, first time for everything. Mr. Subata? Uh, well, if it isn't the class rep. What's up? The vice principal is looking for you. You're needed back at the staff room. Gotcha, thanks. Shinazaki, you've got great eyes, you know that? Always so clear and focused. Ha ha ha. My instructor is like your kind best of all. You ever have a problem, you can talk to me about it, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure she would love to talk to you about it, you creep. That guy is the worst. Thanks. You're not really any better. Huh? You were thinking about hitting him just now, weren't you? Uh, I mean... I said fate. It would be to get kicked out of the school over a pathetic excuse for a teacher like him. And you'll re re regret it later. You know you would. No matter how much of a pain in the ass it may be, no matter how much you think it'll, it'll turn out in the end, or how you think. Just stay in school, bite your tongue, and make it to graduation. Honestly. Why are you crying? Uh, sorry, whenever I get an impassioned speech like that, I always find myself tearing up a bit. You're Kishinuma from class 1-5, right? Yeah. I'm Shinazaki from class 1-3. Sorry to butt in like that. Uh, don't worry about it. Later. Hey, when he told him the vice principal was calling. <laughs> I was lying, of course. <laughs> Aww. I never actually thanked her for what she did that day. For crying on my behalf. And I swore to myself as soon as I realized we were trapped here that I'd protect her no matter what happens. This must be a test to see if I really meant it. No ma matter what happens, part. You okay? What the hell are you doing this? Answer me. Shinazaki. Aww. Please come back to me, Shinazaki. We're going to find all our classmates and get out of this horrible place, okay? There's no reason, no reason for you to stay like this. So warm. Aww. Kishinuma, where, what? <laughs> Shirazaki, you're eek. Mm. Ow, is it you? Are you back? Huh? What? What are you? You okay? So what you're saying? Yeah, so far all the corpses we found in here uh, have been people we've never met before. But that stain was left behind by someone really close to us. Someone whose mind is completely filled with pain and agony of death. And the next thing I knew, I was in your arms and you were squeezing the life out of me. Could sh didn't she just say hugging? Someone close to us, huh? I really hope that just this once, your intuition is wrong. But I could feel all her pain. I was freezing cold, except my throat was so hot it felt like I was on fire. And then, then I voided my bowels and everything went dark. Ew. No matter how hard I struggled, my arms and legs just wouldn't move. I wanted to yell out, help me, but I heard no voice. I was scared, and the pain was so excruciating. Calm down, Shinazaki. That wasn't you. You're still alive. I know. Well, we've searched the whole building. Miss Yue really is nowhere to be found. Maybe we should head back to the classroom? Yeah, that's probably the best. No Satoshi or the others, though, either. Okay. Well, is there anything else I can do down here? Nope, looks like I just gotta go back. And I certainly can't read the last victim's memoirs, otherwise I'm a die. So, yeah. Oh, hello. Giddy conversation and laughter can be heard wafting out of the infirmary. <laughs> really? Hey! Isn't that Mayo? <laughs> yeah. 
That's right. It's the same for me. I love my school. <laughs> Suzumoto, get away. You need to run her quickly. And my homework teacher is the best, but I guess you could feel the same way about yours too, huh? <laughs> Suzumoto, hey, snap out of it. Suzumoto, it's us, okay? Shinazaki, Kishinuma. Can you stand? Come on, we're right here. No, I'm okay, believe it or not. Those really aren't bad kids. Huh? They've just been through some horrible experiences. Here, read this. You'll see what I mean. Heavenly Post, four children abducted, follow-up report. The brutal, shocking deaths of the recently kidnapped grade schoolers have now been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. The scissors he held are confirmed to have been used to cut off the victim's tons, ultimately leading to death through excessive bleeding or choking. One of the victims even had the majority of her head slowly and methodically removed. The cranial mass was found on the floor next to her body. The Heavenly Host Elementary students pictured here are the four who were found in that basement room. Of these children, one was blank when investigators arrived at the scene of the crime. She was blank, blood, blank. The newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. These ghosts have the same faces and uniforms as the children in the photographs. The ghost that was chasing us on the first floor or earlier was one of them, too. I can't just ignore these port souls. I'm going to stay with them. I don't think that's a good idea, Suzumoto. We really need to get out of this room. <laughs> Suzumoto, you have to stop this. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. No, stop. Hey, what's going on? Eek. Shinazaki. Damn it, what the hell did they do? I... Ugh. Alright, fine. I'm so cold. I, f I feel like I'm freezing. We can't even touch her, much less get her down. So what the hell do we do? I don't know, but we have to do something. We have to! Your, your nose is bleeding. What? D don't tell me that. Jeez, you're so blunt about it, too. Uh, would you prefer I didn't say anything and just let it drip? Hello? Huh? She, she's got eyes like a dead fish. You've only just arrived at this school, have you not? That's right. We were brought here against our will. Were you brought here against your will, too? I can't say I recognize your uniform. Actually, I died here quite a while ago. I came in search of someone very important to me, you see. Um. Your name wouldn't happen to me, Neho, would it? Naho? Sorry. It, it is. Who's that? High school paranormalist Naho Senoki. Huh. I think she was on TV receiving some kind of award last year. She's an author, right? Yeah, she's also pretty well known for communing with spirits and has a popular homepage with lots of information on paranormal studies and occultism. Hmm. I'm a big fan of yours, Miss Senoki. I'm on your website all the time. That's very flattering, though I'm afraid you won't be seeing any more updates from me. Your last posting was about Sachiko Ever After Charm. I've been wondering what happened to you since then. Never imagined it was anything like this, though. Hmm. Hey, sorry to interrupt. But did you say you came here in search of someone? Yes. So you came here of your own volition? On purpose? There's a way to do that? That's not something I can talk about. I'm sorry. What? The greater concern right now is your friend. That's right. Do you have any idea what we can do to save her? Before I died here, I searched high and low for any means of escape. In the pr process, I learned that these clone spaces were given the form of Heavenly Host Elementary School through sorrow and the agony of its victims. Victims of an incident that occurred 30 years before our time. Four children kidnapped with broken bodies later found in this very building. Those children are the ones giving shape to this nexus. The four kids pictured in that newspaper article. 
It sure seems like it. Unfortunately, this place took its toll on me, and I died before I was able to make any es escape. But the key seems to lie with those children. If they can be put to rest, there might just be a way out of it. Yeah. Without all the sorrow and agony to sustain them, those close spaces would start to break down. All this pointless suffering would come to an end, and we'd be released from this hell. That's my theory, anyway. Yeah, but put them to rest? How the hell do we do that? Give them closure, of course. What they lack is any remorse or regret from the one who killed them. The one who killed them? Are you saying... The murder is here in this school, yes. Oh my. Seriously? How are we supposed to get someone like that to express remorse? Where would we even begin? <laughs> you need to do whatever you can and do it quickly. If you don't, those two spirits are going to hurt your friend. We will. We'll think of something. I guess the first order of business is actually finding the killer. But, it, hey, Shinazaki, hold up. I don't know much about you as an author or a paranormal researcher, but I'm going to take you on your word anyway. Right now, I'm just grateful for any lead at all, so thanks. Yo, Ayumi. Uh, hey, are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. I thought I was going to throw up, but I didn't. She's acting normally, but I don't know. I think she's starting to snap under the pressure. Shinazaki. She needs to get out of the school or she could be in real trouble. Damn it, why is there no exit? Okay, so... If I save here... I need to find stuff. I'm guessing I need to go down. Because that's the way it's leading me. I'm guessing the kid is still here somewhere, so I need to be careful. Ah, fuck off. Alright, so I need to search for stuff. Now he's stuck there. Good. Um, I'm gonna guess the custodian's closet. There's also that place that I wasn't able to go earlier. Maybe this red spirit down here will give me some help. Just, you know. Hey, what the hell? There's an old-fashioned festival doll lying on the ground here. It seems to be missing its head. Pick it up? Sure. Though, thoughts begin echoing in your mind seemingly from the doll. Somehow or another, it's found a way to communicate its soul desire. What the- I hear a voice! Give me back my head? Why are the antique doll body? Um, I hope you don't mind if I take this. Alright, so I'm gonna assume I'm still being chased. D chased. Um... I need to be careful not to run into the kid. And I'm going to go up to that room I couldn't earlier and see if maybe I can go in there now. I have a feeling that I can. I'm going to trust my intuition. And I'm also going to save over my first file. Because at this point, I might as well just start over if I'm going to go that far back. <clears throat> okay, sorry. Hey, there's the last notes. Hey. Hello. Severed doll of an old-fashioned festival doll lying on the ground here. Pick it up. Severed head. Thoughts begin to echo in your mind seemingly from the doll. Somehow or another, it's find a way to communicate its soul desire. What, what the? I hear a voice. Return my body. Acquired antique doll head. As the head and body of the antique doll are joined, it begins to speak more clearly and directly. With a high-pitched voice like that of a child, it slowly repeats several phrases in a cold, distorted, yet oddly sing-songy tone. Child-killing witnessed I, out of sorts within my brain. Never wanting them to die, but scared myself such death and pain. 
I am so sorry. I feel so ashamed. So very sorry. I am not a bad man. Never wanting them to die, but couldn't raise a helping hand. I am so sorry. I feel so ashamed. So very sorry. Did this doll belong to the murderer? Doesn't it kind of piss you off? Like, it's just playing around. Saying what we want to hear. So sorry. I feel so ashamed. So very sorry. You don't need this thing. Wait, don't you think it might count as repentance for the murderer? Acquired Pentient Spirit. I'll never forgive him no matter what he says. Can I go in here now? Nope. Maybe I can give this to the Gonsonian. Maybe I can give this to the custodian. Uh, mother and father, don't do anything you'll regret that give your mother and father remember their faces. You have one life to live, make it count. Do not raise the precious gift of existence. That's not right. Why would there something, be something like this on a flyer in elementary school? It's like someone trying to plant the thought of, a th of suicide into their heads. Yeah, seriously. Plus, who's going to kill themselves in here anyway? I'd rather find my way out. Uh... Can I still not go this way? Nope. There's a safe place in here. Yeah. Go ahead and do that. And hope that this doll is the right move? Question mark. It rages. It's very quiet in this room. It's a little creepy. Alright. Avoid the ghost. Ring the doll. Hope for the best. My heater just went off. It scared me. It got really quiet. You're still over here, little boy. Yes, you are, little boy. Okay. Hopefully this doll does something. I'm going to save here just in case. Naho, are you still up here? Nope, she's gone. Hey. I found this doll. Do you want it? Suzumoto. Open your eyes, please. Oh, shit. Haven't you got you ghosts done enough already? I don't know about everything that happened to you. And yeah, I get it was really horrible. But you're cursing and killing innocent people who had nothing to do with any of it. What the hell is this even supposed to accomplish, huh? Ha! Ah! Stop. If you make them mad, they'll shut us out. 22, I have something you need to hear, okay? Just listen. Yumi held up the antique doll and let the children listen to the pentient spirits sold within. Meh. E. Mommy! Oh, I'm so sad. You can rest peacefully now, okay? You don't have to keep suffering. Hold on a second. Um. Let me see. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> the horrible things that happened to you were all in the past, your loved ones. Your parents are waiting for you. Go to them now. I have a feeling it's not going to be this simple. Please? I know you can do it. Let go of that girl. Let go of Suzumoto. I have a feeling it's not going to work the way we want it to. No! Stop! Hey! Where are you going with her? Hey! Yee! No! No! Maybe through the antique doll and yeah, onto the ground in a fit of panic and frustration. Um. 
Is she? No. Oh, fuck. Minnesota, where are you? Uh, I don't. Oh, no. Uh, oh, Jesus. What, what the hell? It says it couldn't be. It says it. Shinazaki, don't look. Come on, let's get away from here. I can't take this anymore! Uh, Ayumi. Shinazaki! I'm really starting to lose it. Hey! Shino. Where did he come from? Hey! No! Shlop. Shlop. Up. The fuck are you? Hey, it's you, eh? What? The shelf feels like it's gotten lighter. Ow! Uh. <coughs> So, you're really, truly concerned about the safety of your students, are you? Of course I am. But you're just their instructor, no? Instructor, no? You have no familiar bond with any of them. You're not their mother. But they're my children. I think it speaks for every single one of us at Kisaragi Academy. When I say that we love our children, we care about them just as their parents do. Never underestimate a teacher. Oh, uh. Now answer me this. Your little rant earlier suggested that more than one of my students are here than the two I came with and the one that I heard. Is it true? Were the others brought here as well? It is. Numerous corporeal entities joined us in these closed spaces all at the same time. Counting you as since the arrival of nine people. Oof. My right arm is definitely broken. And all this blood. All these cutting implements on the shelf must have done a number on my back. I wonder how long I was out for. Shinazaki and Kishimura must be worried. I need to get back to the classroom. Spirit was trapped here, just like us. Succumbing to the unbearable feelings of anger and hatred, one victim drawn harm to another. It's not just people that are trapped in this space, but there's sadness and torment as well. It's got nowhere to go, so it just hangs in these walls. We shouldn't be here. I have to get them all back home. Please, everybody, stay safe. Continued in Chapter 3. <sighs> well then. Is it just gonna do this again? Can I skip this? Please. We've watched this already. Can I... Okay, well, I guess that's the end of chapter three. Um, I probably have another extra chapter I'm going to play before I play chap or chapter two. I'm probably going to have another extra to play before I play chapter three is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to take my real quick. Okay. Shitoshi Mach Machida wasn't even in this one. Why are you putting his cast name in there? What are all these names? <clears throat> like, my grudge. The grudge. Ooh. Team Gris Gris? Gris Gris? Gris 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 Gris. Penitence. 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 I don't know. 
I know what that word is supposed to mean, but I cannot for the life of me read it. Do I have an extra now? Let me see if I have extras. Nope, I didn't un unlock an extra this time. Hey, I can look at all the people that I found. Still missing quite a few. And... Oh, please stop. Alright, well, I guess chapter 3 is next. Why? Oh, that's how many endings I got. Apparently I missed an ending in this one. Okay, well. I don't know, maybe we'll go back through and do all the wrong ends at some point. I don't know. Um, yeah, so... Um, I believe that episode there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of Whatever I Decide to Make. Clear Net signing out.